Hello everyone, you're Royce here and welcome to our channel since we are 101. So for this episode, we're going to do an uh, unboxing of uh, a needed tool here in the garden. So uh, I ordered this and it is a termite kill, kill, uh, killer tool, uh, insect, bed bug, pest control, rubber powder, uh, bulb duster. So uh, in short, it is a, a, a bulb duster sprayer with the tube nozzle so uh, it is smaller than what I uh, expect it to be and uh, this is how large the uh, package is it's just around 9 inches and uh, we are going to uh, unbox it so it is sent to, to my address and uh, it's from overseas so uh, we're going to try and uh, open it. So I'm going to lay it down. The, uh, it's a bit smaller than I expected. So uh, I guess I can have it opened here. I have my... Uh, tool here to uh, cut it open be careful not to uh, slice anything there while you're opening so there you go this is how it looks like I don't have any uh, idea but we are going to try and test it as we in fact uh, the purpose why I'm showing you is uh, I'm going to test it as well if it's working. So this is kind of a review of the uh, a duster tool that is needed to uh, spread the uh, diatomaceous earth. Uh, it is a powder and it is a food grade, 100% uh, natural product, organic, non-toxic. So that's what it says there and uh, it is commonly employed in gardening as rooting agent and organic uh, pesticide. So how the, uh, diatomaceous earth works is that uh, you have to keep it dry and you have to spread it. So uh, before I spread it, I used to sprinkle it manually but uh, that doesn't cover enough area uh, to reach the uh, pest that I want to uh, get rid of, uh, namely the aphids and mites. So uh, diatomaceous earth needs to be sprinkled dry uh, or else if it gets wet, the effectivity of it uh, decreases. So from time to time if uh, there are rain showers they get washed off so you have to sprinkle them again. So I was uh, tired of doing it manually so I have uh, purchased this tool. Uh, there is a nozzle, there is a, what is this called, uh, bulb. So this is called a bulb where you squeeze and then uh, it pressurize the uh, container and would spread the dust off. So uh, we, we're going to try and remove the plastic so we can try if it works or not. Uh, I don't know if I can uh, still return it if I found, find out that it's not working. There you go. This is the. All right. So, I guess that that's where you uh, would place the uh, diatomaceous earth, and we are going to try it in a bit. Uh, I, I I think the application is or the the assembly of the tool is very uh, simple. So all we need to do is remove the nozzles. Oh, there are a couple of nozzles that are uh, included with the, the package so I'm going to just uh, I think I can just pull it from the uh, package so there you go this is how it looks like it looks like a nozzle for when you are uh, having uh, to refill uh, air in your tire I think this is the same uh, the same thread and the same uh, o-ring rubber o-ring that's used 
all right so we have uh, three nozzles available one would be the longest one and it ha sort of uh, bending over um, we are gonna gonna try uh, one of them in a bit so and lastly we're going to remove the uh, bulb I think this is also called squeezer there you go all right so that works uh, I'm trying to check if there are any uh, wounds on the bulb because it will not uh, squeeze out air if it does have uh, damage on it so there you go so we're, now we're going to try out we're going to uh, open the diatomaceous earth and we'll test it on this uh, trifasciata that is in front of me. By the way, this is uh, an offset of the trifasciata uh, future striations. And uh, as you can see, it's very similar to a solid gold uh, of the short leaf, uh, honey eye short leaf uh, trifasciatas. Alright, so we have opened the diatomaceous earth. Uh, we're going to open the container. We are going to fill the container with diatomaceous earth. Alright, hold on folks, because uh, the opening that I cut is a bit small. wider and again try to fill out the container of the tool here to spread out the atomaceous earth to combat the uh, mites and aphids that we're having a problem with all right all right i think we're almost done so there you go folks this is the container I think it's a pretty simple assembly and then uh, without reading I don't have any manual for it there is no manual that it's included on the package but I think it's like I mentioned it is a pretty simple assembly and we'll see if it works or not and I guess this is where the nozzle is I, I think I can just pull it out we'll try using the uh, one that's bending because that specializes specializes on uh, hard to reach areas of the plant so there you go make sure that it is airtight and actually the uh, bending is upright I don't think that's right I think we can adjust this adjust it to bending down and here you go folks this is a complete uh, tool that I purchased to sprinkle or to spread the uh, diatomaceous earth so diatomaceous earth uh, basically is dust so keep in mind that when you spray it you'd have to use uh, sort of a face mask to prevent diatomaceous earth from getting in your uh, uh, from inhaling the atomaceous earth itself so we're, we're going to try if it well okay so if you, you've seen that it works it spreads uh the atomaceous earth i think i can position the plant so that you can see there you go there you go that's the uh spreader and i think it works and it makes my job easier in uh spreading the diatomaceous earth to a combat uh mites and aphids because mites and aphids they have they are a pest that have uh, exoskeleton so how diatomaceous earth works is that uh, you have to keep them dry and uh, they have to come into contact uh, with the mites the mites has to crawl over them the ap aphids have, have to crawl over them and then uh, if they have diatomaceous earth in their bodies 
they will it will melt down their exoskeleton and it will kill the uh, mites and uh, the aphids so I think uh, it's the tool is working and like I mentioned uh, it will make my uh, job easier spreading the diatomaceous earth I'm excited to uh, use it I think tomorrow I'll add another clip on this episode wherein I will be using the tool and then I'll be spreading diatomaceous earth on um, a section of the garden uh, to combat my attacks and aphids so uh, I guess this is it for the first part the second part will have to do tomorrow because right now when, when I'm doing this it's already night time and uh, it's hard to uh, do it when it's dark. So, folks, I'll be back and uh, I'll show you how I apply it uh, in one of the sections of the garden. Alright, folks, so this is the second part we're in. We will be applying the uh, tool, the duster tool, uh, which will uh, spread the diatomaceous earth on the uh, sensibiers that I have especially with the uh, short leaf trifasciatus because the short leaf are prone to a lot of uh, pests especially aphids and uh, mites so we will start off with the short leaf on this uh, uh, row or column and uh, all you need to do is to I'm using the tool now and just squeeze the diatomaceous earth on them the uh, problem with the tool though is I have to uh, loosen the uh, this part of the assembly because once you squeezed it kind of doesn't go back to form but I guess now it does uh, once you squeeze it all right so uh, what I'm saying is that uh, not the uh you have to uh screw it loosely not very tight because if you do it very tight i think oh now it's it's working now be because before when i squeeze it doesn't get the air back on the squeezer but now it does every time i squeeze so we, we will dust off all the uh plants that are on this uh on this rack so there you go uh, I'm going to move a bit sorry for uh, the uh, <coughs> camera uh, moving around while I'm doing it I just want to show you how I'm, I'm applying it especially in this part of uh, my garden of the garden because uh, most of the dwarf type on here has been uh, attacked by mites so we're going to spread the diatomaceous earth on the area so I'm spreading it throughout the uh, plants and I could say that it's working made my life easier and uh, I managed to spread out the diatomaceous earth uh, all throughout this one part of the rack. So uh, the mites, just keep in mind that they would, before they can uh, come up on the rack, then they are crawling below it. So we will also spray the uh, floor with diatomaceous earth. Spread everywhere. Alright, so there you go folks. I have sprayed the diatomaceous earth on top of the rack and uh, below it because below it is where the uh, mites would come from and they will crawl up to the racks to uh, infest all the uh, short leaf trifasciatus that we have. And uh, also I can show you that there's uh, another rack on top and we will do the same uh, but I'm not going to show that uh, to you anymore because uh 
the limitation that I have to hold the camera and I have to hold the tool as well to apply it. Uh, aside from that though, uh, I think this is it for the uh, content. So if you have any questions or suggestions, don't hesitate to leave a comment below. And if you like what I have uh, featured, then please uh, like and subscribe to the channel. I will go back into spreading more of the diatomaceous earth so we can get rid of uh, aphids or mites that are crawling uh, on the ground and going up to the racks. Alright, so folks, you all have a great day and uh, thank you for watching.